bounds. If you had to define the cycles of life from your childhood to the present, what would it be and where would you start? Well, for Tim Moore, it would consist of his first love, his bike. He's here tonight from the Spencer Doll and Toy Museum to talk about the antique bikes exhibit that you can take your family to see. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, Brigida. Absolutely. Uh, your first love was your bike. Tell us why. I think it was everybody's first love. It was just something that you got home from school and you you went and got and jumped on and back in the day when we were growing up it's not like the smartphone where mm -hmm. you could find out where everybody was we found our friends <laughs> with the bicycles laying in the yard yeah. wherever the bicycles were that's where our friends were and then 50 years later it sort of seems like your love for bikes have come full circle if you will so talk about your uh, this collection of antique bikes at the museum well, first, uh, cycles of life is just that. It's a play on words. Cycles of life is, is what comes around. And, and uh, my father um, really got me into l the love of bringing back vintage or bringing, uh, giving second chances to uh, things that most people just uh, discarded, mm -hmm. um, whether it be a bike or whether it be a car. Um, it started with cars, and, and my wife at the time uh, was a physical therapist. And what she um, sort of made me aware of was a lot of these times people um, forget their past mm -hmm. or have trouble remembering it. My father suffered from dementia, and what happened was uh, my father could not remember what he had for for breakfast or lunch, mm -hmm. but by gosh, if you put a old 1949 Shelby in front of Came him, back. the stories flooded out. And the real gift was me um, getting to hear those stories. Yeah. So I started just finding bikes in mm -hmm. barns and uh, just everywhere, and I'd find them in pieces, sort of like this. So you would never really realize that this is part of a bike. Mm -hmm. um, it is. This is a 1935 horn oh, wow. that clipped onto the tire and it uh, made it sound, not okay. like the electrical. So, um, some, of the, some bikes, of the bikes that you brought here. Yeah, some of the bikes I, I, I leave vintage, which I really love. They're called patina, and mm -hmm. people like them that way because the more you do to them, the less uh, they look authentic. And these are all examples of patina here. They're all here. examples. They're three okay. examples. The first bike is the Schwinn. Um, and that I totally restored. It's the green one, yeah. The green that one. You see Pe coming here. People mm -hmm. thought, and I got offended, people thought that that was a re popped bike, like bought at Target. Oh. Uh, Maybe may a little yeah. angry. The <laughs> other one is my wife's bike. That okay. is a girl's bike, and that is completely patina. That is just how it was found, and girls took much better care of their bike. Mm -hmm. If you. Uh, didn't know that. Yeah, I, I'm an not surprised to hear that. Yes, though. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm an encyclopedia of info when it comes to bike. Yeah. The little dip like this, believe it or not, everybody says, wouldn't that be a man's bike? For obvious reasons, mm -hmm. it's not. A, a girl back in the 20s and the teens could not wear pants. They wore dresses, so they had to step over. Yeah, so, so you had to do that. I want to get the information up before we run out of time here. You can learn more about the antique bikes exhibit at the Spencer Doll and Toy Museum located at 108 4th Street in Spencer. Open Thursday through Saturday. Uh, thank you so much for being here today. Tim Moore, a wealth of information, as you said. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much, and save a bike. All right, we'll be back.